Hi and welcome to another tip from Maville Photography. Um, today we're going to talk about creating a watermark image for your photos that go on the web. Um, nice thing about watermark images is they actually you know, can protect from people stealing your images. They also are great for branding and you know, letting people get used to seeing your logo and name and with, you know, along with your images. So we're going to start out by creating a new document. I'm going to make it a thousand by a thousand just for a round number to start off. Um, and then, <clears throat> you see it just starts off with plain white background. I'm going to place in a vector version of a logo that I have for myself. And you can't see it at the moment because it's white. So, um, you'll see it in just a second. Then going to go down here, create a solid color background, and now you can see it. So, I want the logo to be around 50% uh, opacity, so I'm just going to hit the number 5 on the logo layer, and it'll change to 50% opacity. Uh, next, I'm going to make a selection of this layer by holding Command down, and I want to get I want to un I want to deselect my website here and fill in the selection of the camera part here. So. Um, going to change over to my rectangular marquee. I'm going to hold option down to deselect and then I'm going to hold shift down to fill in this selection. I'm then going to grab another solid color layer while I have the selection. I'm going to change it to a different color so we can see what's going on. Drag that layer down and <clears throat> then I'm going to transform this by hitting command T, um, shift option, if you hold shift and option and you drag out, it'll drag proportionally out from the center. I'm going to go to the layer that I want. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a glow from this red circle layer. Make it nice and big so you can see it, see what's going on. Okay. Then, if you hold control down, here's a little tip uh, right over the little FX that come up on your layer you can actually create a layer from that of that glow from that layer so I'm going to hold down command again and make a selection of the mask turn off the red layer go to the glow and just hit delete so I get a nice clean glow around the outside of the logo um, now I don't want the glow to be as bright as um, my logo is and I had that at 50% so I'm going to make the glow like 40%. And again, I just did that by hitting number 4, and it goes right to 40%. So, um, we're going to turn off the black, and we're going to delete the background layer. And the little boxes show that it's transparent to the background, or that there is no background and it's just transparent. Um, so, when we take it into Lightroom 3 in the next tutorial, uh, it will just appear transparent over top of your image. So we're going to do a save as, which is shift command s, and give it a name. And I'm going to save a Photoshop version. And the reason I'm saving a Photoshop version first is because a, PS, a PNG file will not save the actual full file. Um, and I want to save it with the layers in case I want to go back and do anything to it. Um, so then we'll save a PNG as well. And save. And there. So that's how you create a transparent uh, watermark for your image that we're going to bring into Lightroom 3 on the next tutorial. So thanks for stopping by and hope you come back for the next tutorial. Again, my name is Mike and thanks for stopping by Maville Photography. Have a great day.